In this video, we're going to look at a graph and discuss graphing vocabulary such as max, min, increase, decrease, domain, range, x-intercept, y-intercept, and absolute max, and absolute min. So let's first take a look at number one. We want to know on what intervals is this graph increasing. Well, let's see. This graph appears to be increasing right here where the green is. And my x values then would be from 0 to 2. This graph appears to be decreasing here where I'm marking red. The x values for the first interval appear to be negative 2 to 0. And on our second interval, from 2 to 5. Now, example three is looking for a maximum, and it wants a local maximum. Local maximums and local minimums are at turning points. So notice that the graph is turning here at a maximum. So that would be at x is 2. Our local minimum is where the graph turns at a minimum point. So that would be at x is 0. Our x-intercepts is where the graph crosses the x-axis. Well, that would be at negative 1, 1. And it appears to be about 3.5. So let's go ahead and put x is negative 1, 1, and 3.5. The y-intercept is down here where it crosses the y-axis. And that would be at x is 0. Or we could say at the point 0, comma, negative 1. Our domain, well, that's where uh, the graph starts and stops along the x-axis. So if we look at the leftmost point and the rightmost point, the leftmost is starting at negative 2. The rightmost is over here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now notice I used brackets on these because they have closed circles. If there were open circles, then we could use parentheses. My range is along the y-axis. I want the lowest point and the highest point. So our lowest point appears to be also at negative 2, this time on the y-axis. And our highest point is at y is 3. Problem number 9 wants the y value when x is negative 1. So the y value when x is negative 1 would be right here at 0. 10 wants the y value when x is 2. Well, when x is 2, our y value appears to be at positive 2. Now we're looking at absolute max and absolute min. I'm going to clear this graph because it's starting to get a little crazy. So our absolute max is the absolute highest part of the graph. That part that has a y value that is largest. So our absolute maximum would be right here at negative 2 comma 3. Absolute minimum would be the absolute lowest part of the graph. That would be over here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comma, negative 2. So that's some graphing vocabulary on a picture that looks like this. Let's take a look at one more picture. Now notice this is a more of a generic picture, uh, but that's OK. Uh, we can still answer the same sorts of questions. So number one, the local maximums would be where it turns at B, D, and F. The local minimums would occur where it turns at C and E. Our absolute max, well, it appears that D is our absolute max. It's the highest part of the graph. Our absolute minimum appears to be at A because it's the absolute lowest part of the graph. Where the graph increases, well, it certainly increases over the interval from A to B. C 
to D and E to F. So A to B, C to D, and E to F. Graph decreases certainly from B to C and D to E and F to G. So B to C, D to E, and F to G.